What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm in Chengdu, pretty much in the central part of the city, very close to Taiguli, if you know this place. And um, I want to give you guys a recent update of what is happening here in China uh, recently with um, basically uh, not having any more zero COVID. So I think it's very important to mention that, uh, first of all, there is no daily uh, testing anymore. No more daily COVID testing. You won't find any like booths in the middle of like neighborhoods or the roads. Like they were everywhere. Uh, I'll play a video here for you guys so you can see how it was. And uh, people would go and do tests every single day. And uh, for example, myself, I'm a school teacher. So my school would actually ask me uh, to uh, do a COVID test every day and provide a screenshot once I would get the test result and show them that I don't have COVID basically. And um, so that stopped. No more daily COVID tests. Actually, no more COVID tests, period. The second thing that's changed, no more quarantine in a hotel upon arrival to China, starting from the 3rd of January, so from yesterday. And also uh, no more quarantine at your house. So around a month ago, three, four weeks ago, there was still uh, compulsory quarantine, five days in a hotel, three at home. And now there's no need for any of that. I'm going back home in around 10 days and I'm gonna see my family first time after three years. So I'm feeling amazing. And uh, it's, just, it's just such a blessing that this has finally happened. Obviously, um, I would have liked it to have happened a year and a half, two years ago. Um, and, you know, obviously I, I don't make the rules in this country. Um, I'm just here. Uh, I'm an expat living here. If you've seen my previous videos, I'm married to a local um, and uh, my wife Erin is in some of the videos. And yeah, we, we love our life in Chengdu and in China in general. And especially our first two years here, you know, before COVID, we had the opportunity to travel to all these beautiful places. And I'm hoping we can be able to do that more frequently now that one, uh, we can travel outside of China. And second of all, uh, with not having daily uh, COVID tests and no tests at all, and no more quarantines and any of that, we can travel freely in China. Because before, when you had to scan your health code and show your location, you were scared that, hey, if I go to a city and you know you hear that the city might be going into lockdown, then you know you were scared to go there to travel because we also have to work, we have to make a living. Um, so it was also hard to travel within China, um, not only outside of China during the last three years. So that is about to change. And um, obviously Chinese New Year is around the corner. So I'm hoping that, you know, with all these uh, rules being relaxed and well, going away completely, that everything can go back to normal as as normal as can be i believe many jobs uh you know took a big hit during that situation and that time and uh with all these uh, quarantines and um it it's definitely gonna help the economy and uh you know it's gonna definitely boost a lot of businesses uh by not having all these quarantines and uh by china opening up and the borders being fully open and this will uh, welcome a lot of, uh, you know, investment as well from outside, more corporations, uh, more trading. Um, this will help boost the economy on the ground here. And, you know, the, the, the Chinese businesses, the, the normal local businesses uh, also, uh, because they won't need to close down every so often uh, due to quarantines, especially many people asked me in, uh, previous videos about, you know, what's the situation right now on the, on the ground? Um, what's been happening, uh, with the virus, because with not having the daily COVID tests and China opening up as well, and you know, everything pretty much going back to normal as can be, uh, many people, uh, got sick, including myself, including my wife, you know, all the teachers at my school got COVID over the last two weeks. And, you know, it was something that, you know, you couldn't control it because there was no COVID testing. We, we, we didn't know uh, what would happen. You know, I, I personally wasn't scared about it. It was just, uh, it went from like one situation to, 
you know, doing like COVID tests every day and having a, you know, zero COVID policy to, uh, you know, overnight, oh, you don't need to do any of this uh, kind of stuff. It was like really, really fast. Um, and, you know, many people uh, got sick. Mine was quite mild. My COVID situation was for around three days. Um, and on the first day, I had like really bad headaches. Um, my temperature was up like 39. And within two days, it was like very normal. It was like 36.6, 36.7-ish. And I felt fine again. Um, I think everyone's um, reaction to COVID is different. Uh, my wife, um, you know, she also had COVID and it, it, it affected her. It was worse for her. She was like at home for like six days and, you know, she had really strong, you know, headaches and her temperature was very high, like 39.4 for like two, three days. And, and it took her a longer time to recover. So what I'm trying to say is everyone reacts differently. I don't have the, you know, the numbers of how many people have got infected and went through COVID and, you know, recovered from it or what the death rate was. We don't know because there's no daily COVID testing and I haven't seen any numbers being released because someone asked me in a previous video uh, what's been happening right now and um, what the situation is in terms of that. Um, but what I can say is from all the people that I know and my surroundings, family, friends, work, everyone's had COVID over the last two, three weeks and are recovering. Uh, some people, it takes them less days. Some people, it takes them like five days to a week or maybe two weeks. But eventually, um, you know, uh, from my circle, uh, they've recovered. And, you know, I just, I just hope everyone goes through it quickly and um and everything can be restored as normal as possible i wish everyone a happy new year and i hope this year is a great one um much better than 2022 hopefully and um stay blessed guys see you soon take care